all right guys welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new volvo c40 full electric suv from volvo this is the new kind of coupe look uh, it's a little bit different than xc40 electric version this one here that i have with me it's a little bit more sportier it has much nicer technology newer technology in terms for example led lights outside and also i will show you as we go in the video also i have on my channel xc40 full review the same electric version if you want to see it it's already on the channel check it out today we have the c40 and i want to review it for you guys i want to show you the interior exterior everything about this new c40 you will find out in this video now before we go forward i want to tell you that i'm in switzerland at bart center garage volvo in Bern. i will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out if you want to see the car buy the car or test drive the car check them out guys bar garage the link is in the description now i want to tell you that i have the c40 twin recharge all-wheel drive that means this is the top end version uh, you can get the car also with an all-wheel drive version and also with a smaller battery but i will review that car in the future as well but today keep in mind that i have full top 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 of the top and also with options we have everything on the car so it's full options today the price of the car before we go to the price of the car i want to tell you the color i'm sure many of you will ask me about the color because the color it's beautiful it's really fit really nice with the car the color name it's thunder gray metallic so you can see it right here if you want to order it now the interior it's micro tech that means all the interior of the car included the steering wheel it's vegan friendly so you don't find any dead animal you will never find in this car so this is a good thing for me at least i'm a big fan anyway i'm a vegetarian i'm not eating animals so for me this is a plus for the car now the starting price of the car it's 61,900 francs here in switzerland uh, with all these options for example the car come with optional uh, tinted windows it comes with vinyl microtech textile polystyrene that what i'm talking about the seats i will show you a little bit later and also the interior then we have the metallic color that you have to pay extra 950 francs and the final price will be 64,950 francs i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea probably in your country the price is much much better than in switzerland in switzerland the price of the cars are a little bit uh, higher so that's something to keep in mind also the car come with heating pump uh, it comes with a lot of cool features like uh, autopilot led lights you will see in the front matrix led lights apple carplay it comes with android system you can connect your android phone on the multimedia system and in the future it will come with a future update and it will work also with apple phone so that's something to keep in mind anyway i will show you as we go in the video all the options of the car now let's go to the technical data of the car so for example the weight of the car 2245 kilograms it's quite quite heavy car but in the test drive if you didn't see at the test drive check out the test drive i have another video with the same car there i talk a little bit more i noticed that the car feels super light and this is great the consumption estimated 20.6 kilowatt hour in my test drive i managed to get 20.4 this is really cool check out the test drive we will see more information there then co2 emission of course zero a class efficient class because it's an electric car you can get a lot of incentives from the government so it's time to go electric guys my opinion now let me go a little bit deeper in detail so let me tell you that the car come with two electric motors permanent magnet ac synchronous motors the power of the car together both motors 408 horsepower 660 newton meters it's an all-wheel drive system and it's connected with a one-speed automatic transmission the range of the car VLTP 438 kilometers also the car come with a battery capacity of 78 kilowatt hour and you can charge the battery at maximum speed with 150 kilowatt in DC top speed of the car 180 km per hour also 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds the ground clearance of the car 17.7 centimeter this is great for electric cars I like to have a little bit higher ground clearance and this is more than enough to drive 
almost everywhere with the car. The car come also with ventilated brake discs on the front, ventilated brake discs on the rear, something that we don't find in all electric cars these days. As you probably know, the Volkswagen Group cars come with drum brakes on the rear, but Volvo choose to go standard with ventilated brake discs, so that's really impressive. The car come also with 19 inch rims that looks really nice with the car. Also, the turning radius of the car 11.4 meters. The boot trunk capacity you will have 490 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1205 liters also it's great to say that in the front where is the normal is the engine uh, you will have an extra space of 31 liters very useful now the car come in the front with independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar and on the rear with multi-link coil spring with anti-roll bar so those are the most important information here is the key the classic key from volvo super nice business key i should say i like the fact that they put the buttons here on the side in chrome it looks really fancy what you can do of course lock and unlock the car uh, also as you can see right here the car come with electric folding mirrors those are super super helpful and the mechanism behind it, it works really fast. Uh, also, the car comes with keyless entry, so you don't have to always press the button. You put your hand here, you can unlock the car very easy. And the same story when you want to lock it, you put your finger here, and right now the car it's locked. And it works really fast, as you can see, it's really, really good. Also, good quality here on the handle. I like very much these handles, uh, look really fancy, and also they have good quality. Another thing that we can see right now that has good quality are the doors. You can hear the doors are incredible. I mean, the quality, it's, it's top of the top. Really, it feels really smooth and really high class. Uh, from this point of view, I like it very much. What you can do with the key, you can also open the trunk automatically from this button here. If you press this button, you will open the trunk automatically because it comes with an automatic uh, lift gate. But you can also put your legs down here like that and then you can open the trunk. Let me show you again. Yes, look at this, and it's working. How cool is that? And even if you want to close the trunk, you can do the same story. It will show you also here on a picture. So all you have to do is just put your legs around there. Yes, just like that, and then you close it. So super nice, super, super nice. Now, let me show you again something with the key. Let me lock the car and look at the playing lights. And when you unlock the car, look at the lights. They have a nice playing. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. So when you close the car, it will blend out. And when you unlock the car, it will have a nice play, super nice. I think those are the most beautiful tail lights in a Volvo ever. I like this new shape. I mean, they keep the same shape, but they kind of facelift them, uh, to be honest. In the front, the same story guys here in the front we have the new matrix led lights incredible incredible lights and we have pixel led lights and also automatic high beam curve light all the new technology uh, let me zoom in a little bit there come with the car and you can see it has also a nice play it's incredible in terms of lights we have the latest this latest this technology on this car as you can see right here the car come also with full LED light the daylight are LED and also the turning signals it's also LED light and it's somehow integrated right there and it blend together for example when the blinkers are on it's not like in other cars where the daylights will be closed no they work together with the daylight it's really incredible and makes some interesting color i don't know if you can see it on the video but uh, really really cool then you have also here on the side led lights on the mirror and on the rear you already see those new design with the lines here i like very much the way they design it really really cool and also the turning signals led light reverse light led light everything down here even the uh, number plates are led lights the lights on the number plate it's led uh, also the reverse camera it's here on the side it's kind of get dirty i noticed that and also somehow from the interior you can see a little bit of this area here i will show you when we go inside 
but it's relatively good and you have a good visibility. Also in the back you have the C40, here we have the recharge twin, that means uh, you have the two electric motors on it, Volvo uh, letters here in the back. The car comes in two colors, we have this contrast black glossy here on the roof, we have black glossy on the mirrors and here we have this beautiful beautiful color it looks really nice i will definitely get the car in this color if i will buy uh, the car now on the roof here we have the radio antenna that looks super nice it's very nice integrated in on the roof there then we have this roof spoiler that looks quite interesting the way they design it it's really really beautiful and not only that it's beautiful but it helps the aerodynamic of the car it helps to get a better consumption if that was not enough check this spoiler out this spoiler lip here looks just phenomenal like a sporty car aggressive sporty car uh, and also it's very helpful because the air will go down here at the high speed and it will help the downforce and also the aerodynamic. It's, it's beautiful. Here we have the, the brake light in the back. I like how well they integrate it here. It's so nice. Tinted windows here come optional so you can get it on the car. They look super cool. Totally recommend you to get it with it. Also very nice here. Uh, the extended muscular wing here in the back look just lovely. If we go down here, we have normal, some kind of matte plastic six sensors on the rear. Here we have also the, the fog lamps right here. And if I'm not wrong, those are not LED. Here we have normal halogen light inside there, some light reflectors on the other side, the same story. But it looks nice the way uh, they create it. Down there, you can see uh, we have some kind of a flat underground there. So that helps also the aerodynamic. Uh, of the car. If we go here on the driver's side, we will notice that we have the charging port, DC, AC, maximum charging speed 150 kilowatt and 78 kilowatt hour is the battery capacity. Super simple to open it up. We have uh, on the upper side some kind of uh, rubber and downside we have this beautiful glossy glossy plastic i love this trend uh, with this glossy black plastic there it looks lovely the handles you already see it pretty nice super high class the mirrors huge mirrors actually in glossy plastic led light down here we have a camera so the car come with 360 degrees camera i will show you when we go inside huge mirrors and blind spot technology it's right here in the corner you can see that this plastic mat extend all over the car in the down part as well of the doors those are super useful with this plastic will protect the car for many years from rust scratch and wherever and you can change it also very easy you don't have to repaint the car you change this plastic here and then you will be good to go super useful and also they manage to integrate it to blend it with the car in a nice manner so the car will look lovely uh, even with those on it and also i like of course the ground clearance of the car 17.4 centimeter i think or 17.7 i don't remember anyway i said in the beginning of the video but anyway really really good ground clearance i like the fact that when you open the door you open it with the, those plastic so the car will be protected and also in the front the same story if you hit something on the down part even here in the front this area where usually a lot of rust occur it's 100 percent protected not like in my tesla where you have the paint and we have to worry all the time about the stones in this area so great job even in the front on the windshield here we have a camera uh, that uh, can read the traffic speed limit lane assist all that safety features will work with that camera and with the radar in the front and if i'm not wrong the radar it's somewhere behind this logo that work with adaptive cruise control autopilot and all that stuff if you want to see those systems check out the test drive other than that beautiful front end of the car very nice blend very nice lines i like the lines i like the way they blend this new uh, front part here uh, the volvo logo front camera down here also we have some air intake here uh, to allow some air to go there and then to cool down some part even down here we have an air intakes also some pedals there they are closed and open depend on the temperature outside and how cool or warm are the battery so other than that beautiful beautiful front end much nicer and i like how they blend in 
all those parts together with the bumper down here six sensors in the front we have some glossy plastic here LED lights also the fog lamps and also I think if I'm not wrong those come on the top end uh, version if you buy the standard version you will not get this fog lamps I'm not sure about that I will have to check in some countries like that but not in all countries so those 19 inch rims they are perfect on the car I think the 20 will look even much aggressive and sportier but those 19 are more than enough for a better comfort ride over the bumps better economy and also they look fine in my opinion also they are special for electric cars somehow so they will uh, help the aerodynamic of the car uh, then we have Michelin tires, 19 inch rims, ventilated brake discs on the front, huge brake discs and on the rear, surprisingly, we don't have only normal uh, discs but we have also ventilated brake discs so this is incredible uh, because some car use drum brakes, electric cars and uh, Volvo choose to go with the top of the top uh, brake discs other than that beautiful beautiful exterior guys beautiful lines I like the roof lines I like the way it looks the car and also it gets some super super nice uh, consumption so check out my test drive I was really impressed about that I want to show you the hood in the front here on the side press this button and then you have an automatic lift gate this is awesome the first good part automatic lift gate the second good part is that in comparison with other cars, electric cars, for example from Volkswagen Group where you don't have any space here in the front, on Volvo C40 electric version you have a storage space, 31 liters, it's not as big as Tesla's but it's super useful to put your cables for example or wherever you want to put here in the front so great job Volvo, I like that, also the wiper fluid it's right here so keep in mind you have this 31 liters uh, space right here in the front so other than that very good quality even on this hood you have a button down there automatic lift gate in the trunk also super cool uh, up here you have the button to close and lock also you can open and close the hood with your foot down here you have also this protection here that I will take it out and I will show you how it looks without it but overall this is the trunk it's not bad at all it's a big big entrance in my opinion and also the great part is that you have a flat completely flat uh, entrance here in the trunk you have some aluminum plate down here at the entrance and also some storage space in the left side some hooks storage space right side some hooks there as well and overall I like another thing is that you cannot take this out that's something to keep in mind this will stay stuck there but you can close it like that and then you can see how much space you have down here and you have relatively big space for the cables or wherever you want to put here triangle and stuff like that and you can also use it as a protection for groceries you can put your groceries there and they will not play around in the in the trunk here this is also really practical let me close it like that and then you have another option here even though you cannot fold down all the seats guys uh, or middle seats if you not fold down the, the middle part uh, you have this middle tunnel where you can carry long items like skis or wherever you want to carry it's great that you can do it from the trunk and this is cool in the same time you keep two passengers in the back and you can carry long items this is really practical all right I just take out that protection so you can take a look one more time on the trunk as I said relatively big trunk I like that and I like the fact that you have a flat floor so you can carry here big items if you want to fold down the seats as I said before you have to do it 60 40 just like that you just press it here somehow electronically so every time you press this button here you can see the headrest will fall down and then you press it forward and another cool thing is that you have a completely flat floor 100% flat floor super super practical I love that and also you can even sleep here it's so so big space from here from this angle you can see very well this glass roof that comes standard with the car you don't have to pay extra and it's almost all over the roof and it looks lovely anyway this is the space here in the trunk lovely space great 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 practicality in my opinion and also if we go on the side I want to show you also from the side open this door 
the opening it's quite big even though we have kind of coupe shaped right there on the car it's a big big entrance here you can go in the car uh, without any problem and you can see also from this angle one more time the trunk the way it looks and it's quite quite nice anyway good quality here flat floor lovely also you have some storage space on the legs room here this is also very useful and also even here down here you have some storage space but i will show you in a second anyway even in the back here guys the quality of the doors are just fabulous here on the door we have kind of a squeeze windows because of the shape of the car coupe shape the windows are a little bit smaller in in height and also we have the windows in two parts one here and one here that can be folded all the way down in terms of doors quality and design design is very nice classic volvo and the quality it's very very good i like the fact that volvo don't use any dead animal in this car so you don't have any real leather everything is vegan friendly so that's something to keep in mind then we have soft material everywhere on the upper side even here that extend to the armrest here we have some recyclable materials and also some kind of soft uh, fabric material storage space we have a big speaker here a small speaker here the handle classic handle from Volvo very good quality the windows uh, button right here and the handle I like very much the quality and the way they design it so uh, great job Volvo entrance in the car relatively good no problem with the entrance and also we will test out uh, the space here in the back so we will see how much space I have here it's a little bit less space than XC40 but uh, also you have other advantages again you can see one more time the glass roof that looks lovely uh, here on the side we have some hooks uh, we have some storage space here those are the seats another cool thing is that uh, even if you fall down the seats the seat belt will stay here on the side so you don't have to worry always to put the seat belt uh, on the seats like that and then to put the seat back so this is another good thing other than that good quality here nice nice design i like it very much the way they design it they are super comfortable and also uh, you have kind of a fabric material microfiber in the middle somehow and here we have vinyl on the side with white stitches uh, isofix for child seats you can install two child seats here in the back and if i remember well you can install a child seat even in the front seat now pretty cool also in the middle you have kind of a uh, seat design for the middle person i will show you in a second how much space you have there you have a center armrest that's great with two cup holders also very useful behind the seats you have some plastic to protect the seats some storage space here in the middle you have a huge transmission tunnel this is the disadvantage when you use uh, the same platform for combustion engine cars with electric cars <laughs> it will result in some kind of this big transmission tunnel but it's okay it doesn't matter too much here we have usb two usb ports guys you can see it and here we have these classic vents from volvo super nice vents one of the most beautiful and one of the most high quality vents that you can find it in the back here anyway let me go inside going inside is very easy and surprisingly there is my driving position seat okay and you can see it from here and this is a little bit more in the back so you can see the seat here space so i have enough space on my knees here more than enough i should say i can stretch my legs down there under the front seat and for me at least the the legs room it's perfect and the headroom it's a little bit less of course because of the coupe shape and i have like four fingers over my head yes and i have 173 centimeters so to make an idea uh, the visibility outside it's quite good I, I can't complain i was expect to have a worse visibility outside because of the small height of the window but it's relatively much better than most of the the car out there because they extend this window here the fact that they extend it here on the door uh, make it even better to to view outside so for me it's quite nice up here quality it's nice then we have some uh, lights here LED light super fancy light you can see with touch other than that let's go in the middle guys going in the middle you have to go over this tunnel then here in the middle it's a little bit stiffer 
here is much more comfortable here it's a little bit stiffer but not that bad to be honest the back here it's also a little bit stiffer but not bad three fingers a little bit less space up here and the legs room it's quite good it's quite good the legs room it's super good the headroom it's a little bit less and yeah if you are very tall here in the back is not that comfortable for example if i stretch my hand left completely stretch my hand right completely so in terms of side space it's great legs room it's great but height space is not that good so for example if you carry most of the time a lot of adults here tall people in the back then you better go with the xc40 but if you don't carry too many people in the back here or maybe kids or small people like me you will be just fine with this car and i totally recommend you to go this uh, c40 super nice glass roof it looks lovely it's mega mega cinematic and it looks really beautiful in the car one big window one piece great visibility in the mirror down here we have soft material everywhere the same vinyl material here on the armrest and on the upper side then we have this the same stuff material inside the door bands right here huge space in the door bands i was impressed to see how much space you have in the door bands here we have the buttons for the windows the electric adjustable mirrors and also lock and unlock button lock and unlock uh, windows for child also some nice interesting trim design here handle harman cardon speakers great sound system in the car and we have to position to save the electric seats super cool now the entrance in the car relatively big so in terms of entrance no problem also you can see one more time the glass roof look lovely and also you can see those uh, vegan friendly seats vinyl material with microfiber in the middle somehow an alcantara kind of the alcantara feeling here also white stitches side support they are very very comfortable i test drive the car and they are super good now you can extend the front part as well very nice and also you have electric adjustable seats right here you can adjust it in every position very simple uh, the way you want it so also we have the recharge plate here at the entrance normal pedals there super super simple but also the pedals feel very good when you drive the car they feel quite smooth down here in this area we have plastic we have the button to open the trunk we have the brightness of the screen of the cockpit and if you go up we have this classic nice super nice vents that feel super super high quality when you touch them glossy plastic around here some chrome design soft kind of a soft material everywhere on the dash on the upper side let me go inside the car close the doors by the way talking about closing the doors the sound insulation in the car it's gorgeous visibility around the windows let me close the radio visibility around the windows and in the mirrors it's perfect you can see huge mirrors out there big big windows windshield also it's quite big so you have a gorgeous visibility outside no problem in terms of visibility it's just lovely also you can see one more time the seats in the back here in the middle the same armrest quite nice you can open this armrest and then you have plenty of space here I like how big is the space down there and also I want to show you something you have kind of a garbage here I'm not sure if I can call it a garbage but papers or whatever you put here and then you can take this out just like that and then you can throw it away how cool is that really nice I didn't see that in a car until now it's, it's really helpful then we have two cup holders here some glossy plastic material stuff material here also some storage space down there i think you can see it here on the side very useful as well very simple uh, this center console the way they design it it's simple the way it should be in a car not so many buttons not so many crazy things it's just super simple uh, we have the gear shifter here and the great part is that you go inside the car you have the key inside the car you don't have to press a button to start the car or stuff like that it's the same as in the tesla you go inside you press the brake you put it in drive and then right now you drive look at this you can start driving and then you put it in park and you stop it's super awesome it has it is just super fast i love the way it is like this here you have a nice place where you can put your mobile phone for example i can also show you that and even bigger phones you can put it here it will stay just like this in this position i don't know it's quite useful for some people here you have another space 
to wireless charging your phone and you can put even bigger phones here just like that quite nice quite simple and you can charge it wireless then some storage space on the left on the right and then you have also there some USB-C ports and a 12 volt port a little bit higher we have some physical button for volume play and stop the music turning uh, blinker then we have the physical button for the defrosting windows and yeah this is it uh, on the right side we have the glow box that it's relatively fine relatively big you have some space for the uh, book there and then here you have another story space i like that also soft material on the upper side here we have this trim level i don't know what they represent but they look interesting and also down here you have soft material in this area on the on this area it's plastic but here it's soft and nice on the upper side also we have Harman Kardon speakers no head-up display but you don't even need it because this cockpit it's incredible I will show you in a second here we have very nice integrated the multimedia with those vents on the side and the multimedia it's also one of my favorite and I tell you why the new multimedia from Volvo come with let me show you this is the home button it's the only physical button that you have here it gets you to the home and here you have uh, some icons or some settings that you can stabilize and put it here and we have on the upper side the Google map this is my favorite thing in the new Volvo cars is that they use Google map like they use on Android so actually this multimedia system it's an Android system this is the thing that I love about the new Volvo cars because it's the same as you have it on your phone and it's incredible responsive I mean look at this it's one of the most responsive multimedia system because the car uses a tablet instead of multimedia and you have a tablet in the in the car of course it's more expensive they pay even more money to make it and better processor better memory but look how incredible responsive it is I mean it's it's crazy responsive I was wow, super impressive I love that great job Volvo and then if you set a destination for example I want to go here look how fast it's working and it's also connected to the internet it's like boom Ten. Ten left. super fast and you have it also on the uh, cockpit right there so it's incredible and you have Google map here with traffic with all that information uh, you have the route uh, here you can choose the different routes uh, right now we are offline but usually when you are online it shows you everything it's just wow I mean I love this so great job Volvo I really love that and also you can use the voice command and if you press it a few seconds how many degrees are outside today but we don't have internet today you know uh, we don't have internet so probably it will not answer I'm offline yeah. so I can't do that yeah I tell you but usually when you are online you can do those kind of stuff and it's super crazy now go back to home then you have also here like the uh, radio and, and music then you have connect your phone you can connect your Android phone or you can connect also your Apple phone in the future in the future update you will be able to use Apple phone as well the range 300 kilometers range we still have it right now and we have 77 percent battery and here you have all the information about driving about consumption about range and then you have also possibility to see the 360 degrees camera I tell you the car come with 360 degrees camera and you have this like a 3d map of the car but you can see individual in the back this is the reverse camera I told you it's so wide that you can see around here a little bit of the car parts but it's okay because you have a great visibility down there when you go in reverse so you don't have to worry about that also on the side you can see the camera good resolution on the side as well also in the front great resolution on the cameras parking sensors activate deactivate them um, rear auto brake so the car come with those safety system when you go in reverse it will warn you if some car will come from these angles here so it's really awesome now down here you have also the possibility to turn on the heating on the steering wheel and the heating on the seat for you and the passenger it's here on the right side then you have the climatic system in the middle yeah no physical button for climatic system only those two here for the first thing and you have to go like this press this button and you go in climatic system choose the speed of the vents choose the auto or where you want the air and how many degrees to be inside the car and also uh, recycle the air and all the settings are here down here so that's something to keep in mind 
it's easy to use you can get used with it super fast here if you press this area you will see that you get all the application guys here are all the apps and you can go to play store like you go in your phone you put your uh, you sing in to your play app and you can download the whatever app you want to have on the car so this is really awesome then you have the car status if it has some errors range assist you see it before uh, google map radio bluetooth telephone and of course you can add a lot of application here uh, if you have connectivity to the internet then if you want to go to settings you go here in this area and here are the most important settings of the car you have the system settings here where you change the language the date units software updates you can make it from here um, and all that things then we go to google uh, settings profile settings application uh, permission notifications control display light wipers mirrors all the controllers are here guys the headrest you can fold it from here uh, wiper service position mirror tilt reverse you can tilt the the mirrors when you go in reverse reduce alarm mode you have unlock lock features a lot a lot of cool features you have here interior light uh, welcome light left hand traffic wherever you have a lot of settings let me go back then you have connectivity sound here you can uh, adjust your sound system um, really simple really cool and it's it's so simple this multimedia i like it much more i'm i'm a big fan of this new multimedia system from volvo charging uh, limits here you can choose uh, to charge limit and then driving here on the driving you have the off-road mode the car have an off-road mode so you can somehow activate a better traction when you're going off-road speed assist steering assist safety assistance system lane keep it uh, assist ready to drive notification one pedal drive this is one of my favorite thing on the car i test it on the test drive so check out the test drive and here we have steering wheel field firm this is kind of a sport mode for the steering wheel only for the steering wheel so yeah really cool features on the car and on the upper side you have also some notification it's a huge cockpit gorgeous resolution gorgeous visibility it's also like a tablet like a laptop it looks phenomenal nice and also you can change the view you have kind of a two view changings you don't have so many possibility to change the views there but it's great that you can see the map it's more than you need it uh, to be honest you can see down here you can adjust the steering wheel manually wherever however you want you can close it from down there the stalks are nice classic stalks uh, and then the grip it's awesome even the steering wheel it's vegan friendly we have this vinyl great grip great size it's very light very assisted um, also we have the controls for the autopilot from here check out the test drive if you want to see video it's already probably already on my channel if it's not subscribed to see that video when it comes and here we have the controllers yeah to change different function and also to change the multimedia on the upper side we have a huge mirror here really big uh, nice edges but if you look in the back there the visibility is not that good because even the window in the back is not that big so it's normal um, i like also very very much those lights those touch lights so you have so somehow individual small lights and you have also this huge big light sos button and all other stuff uh, you have it there here mirror nice led handle microphone on the side uh, and I guess that was the review guys I guess I show you everything about this new Volvo C40 um, I heard that Volvo come with software like Tesla do software updates uh, inside the multimedia system so you can update different things about the car and I heard that the car will come with a few updates in the future uh, that will improve even much more um, the car so it's a great car my rating for this Volvo C40 from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. I like it very much I don't know why I like it but I like it and, and in terms of driving feeling notice that it's better than XC40 and if you want to find out more check out the test drive video I have it on my channel already if it's not already click the subscribe button to see notification when that video will come out that was the video guys i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information if you like it please like it share it subscribe to the channel if you want to see new videos with cars in the future don't forget to check out if you are in switzerland around switzerland bart volvo center 
garage in Bern. I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out. They are nice. They will help you with anything and also they have great, great prices. That was the video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.